We are with Derek Nelson, card fighter for the Kagero clan. Originally a Link Joker user, now switched over in V to Blade Master. Derek, why don't you tell us a little bit about your deck? Well, uh, so I'm running 12 crits and four heals. I have four Dauntless Drive Dragons. Uh, so with that card, if I, on a drive check, I get two normal units, I get 10,000 to any unit in my front row. Also, if I have four more cards in my hand, I can discard three and then stand my unit. And on top of that, I can choose, I can choose one of my rear guards and it gets the abilities when wrote upon of this card as well, plus its own abilities. Um, I have four Doas, obviously, like a very crucial card in the deck. Um, allows me to boost with Wyvern Strike Garin. They work in tandem really well together. Uh, I have two Red Dive Griffins. Uh, with that, I Counter Blast boosting my vanguard and when a player guards I can counter blast and then get rid of that card or the strongest unit if they decide to use multiple cards to guard um, so I have I have two airmos as counter charging is important with this deck uh, but hopefully I only need about three damage to do that uh, to get the game over and done with. Uh, I have four Blade Master Sowens as well. Uh, that's the card that I would ride with the with the Dauntless Drive Dragon to get its abilities as well as its own. And then I also have the Terrid Cannon Dragon, which I like as it allows me to get rid of one of my opponent's rear guards, as well as take a card from my drop and put it at the bottom of my deck, uh, which is good as well. Uh, if I'm not able to get, uh, uh, where's the card? So if I'm not able to get my hands on Dragon Dancer Soha, which takes all the cards from my drop and puts them back in my deck with plus 5,000 for each one, if I'm not, be, not able to get my hand on that, that card is good as well. Uh, take whatever card I think I may need for the turn or for any turns to come. And uh, I think that's pretty much it for my deck. Thank you, sir. Uh, we have one last question before we switch off to our other contestant for the night. Uh, our last question would be, what is your favorite combo style of your deck at the moment, and how does it mess up your opponent? Oh, it's, it's definitely Dauntless Drive Dragon's uh, stand ability, discarding three. It, it hurts really bad, like especially the first time I used it, uh, but I felt as though as long as I'm strategic with my other cards to attack or try to get rid of any other rear guards, it's very effective. I find it very effective. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you so much for the info. We look forward to the match between you and uh, contestant Piscitelli. Uh, we are going to bring off Derek now and bring on contestant Nick Piscitelli. Our next What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Nick. Uh, why don't you give us a little bit of a rundown of your deck, your hybrid deck, and uh, tell us what it's a hybrid of. So I have a hybrid of Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion the Blood. Uh, and uh, Eradicator Dragonic Descendant deck, which also includes uh, Gauntlet Buster Dragon, which really helps me out. So explain a little bit of that to us real quick, because I don't think most of the viewers know that the blood could even hybrid with that and how that works in tandem. So basically, uh, with the help from the host, he, uh, he definitely helped me put uh, this hybrid deck together. And basically, I can switch out the blood and Eradicator Dragonic uh, Descendant whenever I want. Um, when I want to use that type of deck and basically I have two decks in one Yes, essentially it's a very well-built budget deck and the greatest thing about Vanguard is a budget deck can still win you the game I've seen budget decks that go into championships and beat people that have spent 300 to 500 dollars 
this game is so much fun for that reason. All right, Nick, so why don't you tell us a little bit more about your deck, and then we'll go into the next question. Okay, so basically, uh, I uh, just really started using this deck. I usually use the Vermilion deck, but I got some uh, new cards recently to help with this deck. Uh, use the Eradicator uh, Dragonic Descendant, which uh, I can restand, which is really nice. And also, I can ride... Uh, Go out in the buster or vice versa and uh, get all of the abilities of that. So that's pretty cool. I also have the uh, Detonic Stiller Dragon, which is really good for uh, my Excel circles, which uh, I use quite a bit. I also have uh, four Rising Phoenix Dragons. Basically, I can uh, recall it from the drop zone. And yeah, that's basically all I can think of at the moment. Awesome. Thank you for the info. All right, last question before we get the match underway. Um, what is your favorite combo style in the deck that you've played so far, and how has it messed up your opponent? Uh, definitely uh, using Gauntlet the Buster as my vanguard and then riding it with uh, Eradicator Dragonic Descendant because, as I said before, I get the abilities of both of those cards. I do have to pay the uh, cost, but it's not very high, though. Unlike Derek's deck, he has to discard three cards from his hand in order to restand. I do not have to do that, which is really nice. But um, I messed up Derek pretty bad. Uh, the last game that we played with that uh, with that little combo move, so I'm excited to try and do it again. Yeah, sadly we did not record that, but I had the idea as they are setting up a rematch uh, for Sowin slash Blade Master, or no, Sowin Blade Master slash uh, Dauntless versus Gauntlet Buster slash Descendant. I thought it'd be good to interview the players and then get a bit of the match, match it together, and show their highlight clips. And from here on, we will do card fight videos where I show their highlights for these players, myself, and other card fighters across our group and also the globe if I ever go global. Who knows? Who really knows? But yeah, we're going to do some videos and we're going to figure out what, what happens tonight. We had a three-way match that the blood just won. Um, had the, the nice little ability to be able to... Uh, be ahead than most players. So we're gonna let these two get uh, underway. You forgot that by the way. Oh, thank you. And uh, just to make it very clear, uh, I beat him in the previous game. So he wants the rematch. So I say bring it on. With that, we'll get set up and we will see you in the next part. All right, let's go again. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And Nick won. Do you want first <laughs> or second, Nick? Uh, I'll take second. All right. Are you guys good with your hands? I'm good. Yep. All right, then announce the beginning of the game. All right. Stand, Stand up. The Vanguard. the Vanguard. Call Wyvern Strike Garin. Draw a card. Turn. Okay. Call. Uh, ride. Uh, ride. Rising Phoenix. And. Up the card mm -hmm. and your foot shield. And oh, yeah, uh, I don't know. Oh, here it is. And I attack for eight. I'll take that. Your okay. vanguard. Oh, that hurts. Turn in. <laughs> Call Berserk Dragon. When placed. Counter blast and soul blast, but you have no rear guards. Whoops. But you still gotta draw off that, I believe. Yep, since it's on my vanguard, gotta draw. And since I have more rear guards than you. Plus, no, no plus three. That's and swing. How much? Swing for ten. All right. Two. Damn. And the aggressiveness of Derek's deck is coming out now. It hurts. End my turn. All right. Stand. Ride Eradicator Plasma Catapult Dragon. And I am going to Ride 
Yeah. Uh, what are you at? Ten. He's at ten. Ten. Uh, I end my turn. Why well, would you just attack it off for a trigger? Oh, fair enough. Alright, attack for nine. So. Well, let's see if he guards. You're gonna guard? No. Front trigger. Front you trigger. Mm. Ooh, but a heal trigger! He does not heal off that, seeing as he needed to be at one more damage to get the heal off. So, now it is Nick's turn, or Derek's turn. Derek's turn. Pretty slow fight at the moment, not a lot of action going on. A lot of retiring goes on with between do both decks and Nick's binding ability. So, it makes sense why they wouldn't call rear guards early in the game to get off extra skills. But Derek's now activating his Force 2 to get a critical on his Vanguard. And with Dauntless skill, he'll probably be able to stand this turn. Alright, let's have fun. So, so swinging for 13, 21, one crit. So 13, no, so you crit. swinging you for, I mean, 13, 13, eight. And you have two crit because you use the force too. Oh, so yeah, you're swinging so for 21 crit. and two crit. Yes. Okay. Puts me at... How much do you have Horia? How much? 21. 21? Remember, he's going to be able to stand this turn. Block. Going to a block for 29. Hold on, hold on. Skill. Soul Blast. Let me see the card you put down. Okay, so... Yeah, so... We're gonna get rid of that, so put that in your drop. And so, yeah, cause this card skill, when your opponent's guardian is placed during the battle that it boosted a vanguard, soul blast one, choose one of those guardians and retire it. And at the end of the battle, retire, retire this unit. So, you have another card to guard with? I'll let it pass. Let it pass. Well, yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter because he already put down the Guardian, which ends the Guardian phase. It just goes into the... So, can't, yeah, it, I can't do anything, basically. Yeah, exactly. Alright, so, two crit? Well, well drive. Check first. None. Ooh. Nothing. So, one damage. Just and one. he gets plus ten now. I get a critical, so I can apply you that. You also right? get plus ten. So, plus ten. So now both units got plus 10 to each of them. And now your guardian. That goes away. And now the fun part. His once per turn stand ability will activate. The aggressiveness in Derek's deck is showing its true colors right now, folks. The damage count is 3 to 2. Derek winning at the moment with Nick being at three damage. Stand. So now 23, one crit, two drive. 23? 23. Guard for 29. No, you got plus 10, so that's 39. Oh, 39. So guard for 39. And how much is he attacking for? 23? 23. Okay, so that's two to... Mm, yeah, it's two to pass. Two to pass. No, it's not passing, folks. Cool. Very sad for Derek here. My turn, right? And you take two this, damage? 
retires. And that ends my turn. One, right? Or it's two damage. So take another one. He, had, he has the force too. So it's two damage. But I blocked it. No, the first attack. The first attack. You only took one damage. It was two you only damage. took, yeah. That sucks. Crit. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, Pishitelli misplayed. Uh, not n remembering, and that's also my fault because I walked off for a second. Uh, that Dauntless had the Force 2 critical. So, I mean, either way, he, that attack wouldn't have went through. That would have been 39. All right. So, but now it's, it's, it's Pichatelli's turn, so he's going to stand and draw. Finally my turn. Right, Eradicator Gauntlet Buster Dragon. And there he is, the big hitter of the deck, folks. With that, Nick now gets an Excel marker. He can choose between his one and two. Uh, let's go Excel two. He's playing an Excel two circle. Nice. With that, he now gets to draw a card, with that being placed. And the unit that will be placed there will get 5,000 instead of 10. Playing Rising Phoenix in the rear. Martial Arts Dragon to his Excel circle. So now Martial Arts is at 24. Or 15, 14. 14. So you're at 13. Perfect. And now Gauntlet Buster also gets plus 10, two criticals to his Vanguard because Derek has zero rear guards in the front row. 14 to your Vanguard. 14 to my Vanguard. With the first attack as well. It may only be two attacks, but they are both going to be somewhat supercharged. Souped up to an extent. I'll take that. Okay. No trigger. All right. Let's have some fun. So it's gonna be thirty k plus ten, so thirty k including music. Mm -hmm. All right. Thirty k to your vanguard. That is a 30k attack with three critical to boot. Looks like it's getting PG'd. Yep, that is a perfect guard. Which is fine because it's early game still. Somewhat. Alright. Let's check. Let's check. No trigger. Nope. Only two. Only two. Put that back, please. And now it is Derek's turn. So we'll see him stand. And draw. Oh, he I... plays Blade Master Soin. So with that now, Dauntless gets gives all his abilities to Soin, bringing back the Brake Ride from the original series in a sense. Skill, counter blast one. Spear call a guard into the rear guard circle. With this, Nick's board is about to be wiped. The aggressiveness is about to be shown off that has not been shown off in a while. Derek has been playing a lot of matches and not getting the hands that he needed. But it looks like he got a Cut that pretty one. decent hand this turn. And then also let's do call and call. Go. 
retire two units and your board goes away he drops two cards from his hand just so Nick's field can be wiped and that's a that, pretty hefty skill but it brings out his heavy hitter which is the vision token the vision token can act as a vanguard when it attacks it can twin drive just cut that out All right, and so that is just plus five. He's returning one Garin back to the deck to get plus five to his back rear guard behind the vision token. So that's 36. And plus. So I believe that's 36 now. And two okay. crit. Two drive checks. PG. No. PG. Okay. Heal trigger, you do not heal, but you do get power to one unit. Power here. Oh. Now every unit, if he gives it to his Doa, will have two critical on the board. Making that a point where Nick really can't afford to take the damage here. It's not looking good for Fischatelli at the moment. But we'll see what happens. All right, so 13, 23, 31, and 41. One crit. I have no choice. Gotta let it pass. Oh, with crit that, it's. Power. I think it might be over, folks. That's three crit. Which means he needs to pull two heal triggers here. First check's a draw trigger. So 10,000, put the draw down there. And then you draw one. No trigger. That is game over. Game two of Gauntlet Buster versus Blade Master. They're one for one on the night. We can do a game three just to see. It looks like we're going to game three. We will see you guys here after the messages. Thank you for watching this game brought to you by Gatorade. Not really endorsed by them, but we are going to say we are because why not? We want endorsement for Vanguard, and also for playing, and for videos, yeah. The, the games that have been going on so far tonight have been pretty intense. We've had The Blood, we've had Descendant slash Gauntlet, and we've also had uh, Blade Master slash Dauntless. Pretty intense decks. Um, I'm bringing out The Blood. You're, wait, you're switching? If I lose this, I'm bringing Nick just confirmed that if he loses this match, he's doing another one with the blood instead of Descendant and um, Gauntlet. I don't know personally which one is better, but I would say probably Gauntlet as it binds units rather than puts them in the drop zone, which removes them from the game. So I'm more personal to that. But thank you for watching this intermission uh, message. We'll see you back in a couple seconds when they're ready to play. All right, folks, we're back for game three. Everybody's decks are shuffled and ready. Their hands are ready. It's time for them to begin the game, so announce. Oh, wait, we got to see who goes first. Let's go. Wait, right, right. I win. Nick, where would you like? You won. I'm going to go first this time. All right, so now announce the start of the game, folks. All right, Vanguard. 
stand. Card. Phoenix. Draw a card. End turn. With that, Rising Phoenix was rowed, and now it is Derek's turn. Ride. Wyvern Strike Gru has been ridden on top of Lyagra. Now he gets his quick shield and a draw off that. Not a bad start. There is a perk to going second. Swing for eight. Take it. Heal trigger was revealed. There is no heal, but the 10,000 bonus is a great bonus to get. I end my turn. With Nick's damage check being a martial arts dragon, it's now his turn. It is his time to stand and draw. Ride a uh, lightning whip eradicator, so heal. You don't draw a card off that. I can't draw a card. Never did. Never oh, you never drew it? Okay. I was just informed that Nick never drew a card at the beginning of his turn, so he was drawing right there. Okay. Check top five. Is that Vanguard? Uh, no, that's no. a reroad. That's a reroad. So. He doesn't have that. So. so that's not worth it. Uh, tap for nine. I'll take it. Reveal your trigger, Nick. No okay. trigger. Derek also got no trigger, but he got a Garin, which is not a good, not a good thing for the Blade Master deck. Those cards are very much needed on the field, so to see them in the damage zone or the bind zone for this deck is not a good stuff, not a good spot to be in. That's why this this matchup is so dangerous because if Nick can just start to bind those units, Derek won't be able to put them back, and that is not good for him. G assist. He has to G assist. Well, you only put it down if you get a card that you need. How many cards? Top ten. Top ten. G assist. Let me check for. Uh -oh. He got it. Oh, but he has to ride into Doa. Place this out there because that goes away from the game. Swing for eight. Eight to his nine. Eight to my nine. Nick, if Nick doesn't choose the guard here, it can still go through if a trigger is played. It's up to Nick to decide what he will do. Nah. No trigger was shown, so the attack does not go through. Keeping the game tied at one damage. Nice slow start. It is now Nick's turn to ride to grade three after he stands and draws. Ride, Eradicator, Gauntlet, Buster, Dragon. And there he is, folks. Second game in a row where he had it in hand. He now gets an Excel marker and can place it wherever he likes. With that, he also gets to draw a card because he excelled too. He now calls Spark Rays Dragon, Eradicator Spark Rays Dragon to the Excel Circle, giving it a plus five. Its skill when placed. Check the top five for an Eradicator card. Nothing. Damn. That hurts. All right. I'll shuffle and cut his deck for him. Yeah, screw it. Let's do it again. A second one. There is an Eradicator there, folks. We'll not add that to his hand. The revealed card was 
Plasma Catapult Dragon. Which is not a bad unit to be shown. <laughs> Mighty Bolt Dragon. I get to look at my top five. Yep, for a grade three. Apparently it was the first card. Let's go. Now you have to discard one card from your hand, though. That's fine. Alright, Derek. Uh, 14 to your Deva. And like that, the attacks have done with Eradicator Spark Raised Dragon going at him for 14 with that boost. I'll take that. Okay. And a critical trigger has appeared. Now putting Derek at 19 if he wants to be hit. With that, Nick had the 8K rear guard. Won't go through. Nick's. Gauntlet Buster looks like it's the only thing that would actually have a chance of going through at 22 with 3 crit. That is annoying. Alright, 22, 3 crit. <sighs> looks like Derek is going to just PG that. Unless it's gonna be a 30k shield. Are you 30k or PG? No, he PG'd it. He dropped the card. Twice. Twin drive check. Front trigger! All front row units get 10,000 power now. <laughs> Second was a Detonics Drill Dragon. Alright, Derek. 18. He's at 19. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. Alright, fine. 19. It's equal, so if it is not shielded, it will still go through, and if it was equal anyway with the shield, it would still go through as well. I'll take it. Okay. Another critical trigger. Oof. Damage triggers are always nice to have, but you hate to see a critical trigger get wasted in the damage zone like that. Turn end. He goes into Dauntless Drive Dragon, his new staple of the deck. Deciding to call no rear guards, this is a very dangerous spot to put himself in, folks. With doing that, Gauntlet Buster will be at full throttle next turn. He's 13, one crit. Two crit. You played force two. Two crit, excuse me. Okay. Two rear guard. Which one? Spark race. Spark race? I'll take that easily. Okay. He checks the twin drive for the first attack. And he gets a critical trigger revealed. With that, now he can stand his unit because he definitely has more than four cards in hand. With his critical being his critical limit being at three, it's almost like an, another Eradicator Gauntlet Buster Dragon is being attacked or er, being played at the moment. Swing again. Okay. For 23, 3 crit. That's a big attack. It's, again, it's basically another Gauntlet Buster swing. I think I can add him next turn. 
And it's perfect guarded. And I end my turn. All right, now it's Nick's turn, so he gets to stand and draw. Hello, Derek. What up? Ride. Eradicator Dragonic Descendant. With that, he gets another Excel 2, and all of Gauntlet Buster Dragon's skills are now transferred over to Dragonic Descendant. And with that, he also gets to draw a card when I'm playing another Excel Marker 2. Hey, Derek, buddy. I'm coming for you. Detnix was just called to the first Excel Marker. Now his rear guard has been filled up. With that, he cannot activate most of the skills. Derek has no rear guards to bind. He can activate the rear guard behind Descended, though. Look at the top five and reveal an eradicator and add it to your hand. He got Spark Ray's Dragon. He's adding it to his hand. And now we shuffle the deck and he discards one card from his hand. Attack for 14. Tear Vanguard, obviously. The first swing coming in at 14 with Dusty Catapult Dragon. Plasma Catapult. Yeah, that one. I was thinking of an older unit, Dusty Plasma Dragon. He guards it for 15. Mm -hmm. Make 28. So. Only banger. Oh, yeah. Damn. Okay. Uh, let's go for 17. To your vanguard. Trigger revealed. He's at two to lose, though. Okay. And with this, Gauntlet Buster is basically on the Vanguard with Descendant, so he's at 22. Or is it 23? It is... 22. 22. 22, three crit. With a boost so of eight, so that's 30k, three crit coming out of his Vanguard. 30k, three crit. And if Derek doesn't let this through, he stands again with Descendant. It looks like Derek's going to have to double guard this. That's 33, so that's one trigger to pass. Oh, wait, no, it's, I'm sorry, that's a PG. Darn, diddly darn. Twin drive, check. Front trigger, the front row gets 10,000 power. Critical trigger, where are you putting the effects, sir? I think I'm gonna go with uh, this guy right here. All of it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's a counter blast one. Discard a card from your hand and stand this unit. That's easy. Okay. 
Okay. Hello, Derek. So we're going to attack forty-three thousand or forty-two thousand with three crit or four crit. Forty-two thousand, four crit. One check. One check. That's 53, which makes it a no pass. One check, though. And he got it. Heal trigger. He cannot heal, but he can give the 10,000 power somewhere. So attack for 39,000 to your vanguard. Derek's at four damage with three cards in hand. He's going to have to play this very cautiously now. De Nyx has two attacks, so if he can, he can either take one and guard the other, or if he can't guard, take both and hope for a heal. He's taking the damage, folks, and oh, he'll trigger five damage with one attack left. No card was bound, so Dragoon does not get his plus five, but... Oh, 19,000 plus... Twenty-eight, right? 28,000. Two your 27, actually, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, 27,000. Derek has used about three heal triggers so far, meaning that there's at least one left in the deck. So, one pass here. Mm. Right. Nyx, turn is now over, bringing it back to Derek. And turn. Let's see what Derek can do with this. He's at five damage. He's only done one damage to Nyx so far. He rides another Dauntless Drive Dragon on top. The Imaginary Force 2 is not going to do him any good, though, because it does not stack. So hopefully he has a unit he can call and he can use it on that other unit. We get OCD here. This is how it goes. He calls Doa, now calling another unit Garin. With the counter blast. This is a staple of the deck. This is gonna help Derek. Hopefully if the attack hits, he'll be able to counter blast to get a draw off, build his hand back up. It is very diminished. He has one card left in hand at the moment. Thirteen, one crit. That's true. Thirteen, one crit. I'll take it. Two crit. He has the imaginary crit. force. Two crit. I got a front trigger. Ten thousand in the front row. And his last heal trigger is revealed, folks. That's one more damage. That's fine. He won't be able to restand, folks. I just remembered he has only three cards in hand. So he has to hope that this next attack hits to get that draw effect off. And it also has two, so he can push him to five here. Can he put enough pressure on his board to his opponent? Okay. 
can't. Can't. You need four. You need four. That's why I said when I was announcing. You cannot restand. You need to put the pressure on now and hope that this attack hits to put him at five. And since he has rear guards, the effect does not activate either. Oof. PG. With that, I think your turn's done, dude. It is now Nick's turn. I'm going to restand everything. Do, 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 do. Draw a card. Oh, you're too sweet to me. Call. So now with that, he gets to top, look at the top five for another Eradicator card. First one he got, Spark Breeze Dragon. Yeah, me too, I didn't see it. Okay. God, I can't do anything else. So, let's start, shall we? Uh, 15? 14. 14,000. 14, and, uh, I'm going to... We have to do that first. Oh, alright, I apologize. I'm going to choose your Doa. I'm going to bind it. Uh, Counter blast, soul blast one. Yes, thank you. And then Garin moves up to the front row. Mm -hmm. And then Garin's gonna come up. Come, come. Okay, this is a Blade Master deck worst nightmare. Alright, so now I'm attacking you for 14. Tear guard. And with that, because a card was bound, Dragoon in the back row gets plus five for the turn. If Derek can survive this turn, that could help him if he just gets the right card. Alright, so now that that's done. Uh, 17,000. Tear Vanguard. So that's what? That's 18. 18. So no pass. Okay. Nine plus eight. 17,000. Once again. To your Vanguard. Derek can afford to take a damage here, folks. He's at four. But the question is, will he be able to survive? All right, five damage. And because his Vanguard skill is continuous, he still acts as Gauntlet Buster. So, uh, nine plus 13, 13, 24, or 22. 22,000, two Vanguard. He's being pushed to the brink, folks. Can he survive? 22 to his 13. Okay. No pass. How many cards you got left? Two. I think it's time we go. So. I attack with Eradicator Dragonic Descendant, boosted from Isolation Eradicator Nusuku. For another 30k attack with three crit. For 30,000, three crit. To your vanguard. The pressure has been added. Don't you restand? Not yet. He will if you don't let it hit. The way that descendant works is if the attack does not hit, he can counterblast one to restand. It puts Derek in a no position spot because either he guards and it stands again, or he lets it through and loses. Either way, it doesn't look good for Derek. With using every heal trigger in his deck already. Nick's win is pretty much assured this turn. He's going down swinging though, folks. Drops the PG and drops the sewing. 
Just so Nick can restand. Okay. Counter blast one. Drop a card from your hand. Minus one drive. Okay. Now I attack for what was it? Twenty two. Twenty. Twenty. Yeah, twenty two. You're right. Twenty two thousand. Three. Tier Vanguard. Three crit. Drive check. One trigger. No trigger, which is. And that That's brings game. it to the three game. I won best out of two. He won. Eradicator, Gauntlet Buster Dragon slash Descendant has come out on top this time. We will be playing more matches tonight. Who knows if they will be recorded. But we're going to go to an exit interview real quick to owe the players and get some more info. All right, we're here with Derek Nelson, the card fighter for the Kagero clan, Blade Master. Tell us a little bit about how those games went for you and just your feelings afterwards. Hey, it ultimately comes down to luck and playing your cards properly. The first game, everything went perfect for me. I got all my cards. I was able to use Doa and Garin, and I was able to use a vision token. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get to a vision token in that second match as well as really use my Doa and Garin's ability due to the fact that I wasn't able to get a Soen in hand in time to use it. Um, and that basically cost me the game ultimately. Yeah, those matchups can be tough sometimes. When you don't get the cards that you need, it, it's hard to come back from it, especially in a deck where you can build up your hand and still not get what you need. All in all, um, did you have fun? I did, I did. That's I what matters. I hard, but did enjoy it, did enjoy it. That's what matters. Thank you, Derek. Uh, we're gonna now bring on Nick to get his part, and uh, we'll go from there. The Buster and Descendant. So, tell us a bit like, how you feel after you won. Uh, that, the, the second game that we had that was actually filmed, uh, there was I, I really couldn't do anything. He literally just had the most perfect way he could have played his deck. Uh, but I knew it wasn't going to happen a second time because uh, luck doesn't strike twice. Uh, that quickly, at least. So I knew I had a, uh, an advantage because I really don't need the perfect hand in order to, uh, to win the game. I have enough heavy hitters, especially with the Gauntlet Buster Dragon, on top of the Eradicator Dragonic Descendant. So I knew uh, pretty much... Once uh, I knew he only had one heal trigger left in his deck, I knew I was pretty much going to win the game from there. Thank you for that. Uh, now, how do you feel that you used your combos? Uh, I feel pretty good. That's the, that's the first time I've really understood how to use my rear guards and the proper combos and the proper way to attack. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy I uh, advanced as a player. And uh, it was a good game to Derek. He, just, he really just did not have luck on his side that game. And last question, as being a new player to the game and just using such fun cards, what would you recommend to newer players and how to build their decks and such like that? Uh, definitely look at deck lists. Don't just look at one though. Look at a bunch. Look at all your options that you can. Uh, if you have a friend that's into the game, uh, let them try to help you build your deck. They know the right things and they can also find the cheap stuff that really, because as uh, the announcer said before, you don't need the most expensive deck to win in this game. So really uh, do some research, make sure you look at um, the different deck lists, see what fits your hand the best. Look at all the different clans, see what you think is most fun. I personally love Nurakami. Nurakami is a ton of fun for me and it's also really easy to build a budget deck. But basically, uh, as long as you're having fun, that's all that really matters. Well, thank you, Nick. Uh, we are gonna exit now and we're gonna set up for the next matchup and whatever may go on for the rest of the night uh it's been fun seeing this matchup and uh thank you guys for participating thank you we will get your highlights and uh we'll add it together for you i can't wait to see it part